I mean, I'm still recovering, to be honest. It was just unbelievable. I think, obviously, playing in games like this and then seeing it from a fan's perspective and doing the commentary, myself and Sam, when Alessia scored that goal, it was unbelievable. And, you know, Sweden at times, at the beginning of the game, similar to Spain, dominated. And they need, they could have scored after 30 seconds. So, Mary Earps was sensational. She pulled off two amazing saves. More so the second one in the second half. But it was just brilliant all round from the players. And I think anybody that's questioned them, this tournament is silly. Because anytime they've had anything thrown at them, they've overcome it. And this is a team that Sweden have ranked second in the world, Alan. There's a reason for that. Yeah. We were, ta- we were talking earlier... Eliana, but who, who was a star player? I couldn't pick any star man, star woman, excuse me, because I thought collectively it was a tremendous, the movement was brilliant, the passing was great, there were some great goals in the game. So I think it's hard to pick a star from the match. Yeah, definitely. I think collectively this team have got a real, real strength in depth. I think the subs as well that come into this game it seems like a tactic that Serena Wigman's using. But I think I agree with you. I think for me, I'd have to give it to Mary Earps based upon the save she made in the second half. And when she's been called upon, it's not easy for a goalkeeper that doesn't have much to do during his tournament. And when she has been asked to be called upon, she's really risen to the occasion. And this is somebody that wasn't number one for about a year ago. If Ellie Roback wouldn't have got injured, then she would have probably played. So Mary Earps has been brilliant. I think Kira Walsh has been absolutely sensational during this whole tournament. An unsung hero to a certain degree because she doesn't scale on the score sheet. But Beth Mead, I mean, six goals in this tournament already. Absolutely incredible. I mean, everybody was talking about Lauren Hemp before the tournament, but Beth Mead has been brilliant. And I love the girl. I think she's a brilliant person. And, um, yeah, I mean, it was so great to see the players celebrating after the game. And that's what it's all about. Leanne, obviously, uh, they did have a few chances. Sweden, in, in that first half, and they made some great saves. Uh, but that first goal was going to be always going to be very important. What a goal it was, wasn't it? Beth Mead. I mean, the first touch for me was superb because it was yeah. fizzed across from uh, Lucy Bonds on the on the right hand side. But the first touch got it out of her feet and hit it first time more or less in like a volley, and the keeper had no chance. No, definitely, and that's the kind of form Beth Mead's in. I think the early ball from Lucy Bonds. I mean, in the first ten minutes, Lucy Bonds. I I always never say anything bad about her because I think she's brilliant. She's one of the best players I've ever played with. But I think down that side, Rolfo was getting the better of her for the first Mm. 10 minutes. And there was a moment in the game where she untied her hair, retied it. It was almost like a refocus. And anybody at the game, even Sam picked it up on comms, it almost refocused her and she was ready to go because Lucy Bronze always rises to a challenge. And then she put the ball across to Beth Mead and it was just a brilliant finish it really was on the laces and mm. that's a player in form anything you touch goes in and she's been absolutely brilliant in this tournament and definitely best player for Arsenal this year and thankfully has taken that form into the Euros So Leanne um, England have got to wait now to see who they play in the final I watched France's last two games and they didn't half miss some chances do you think they could turn the, uh, this Germany team over? I think it's going to be a difficult game. Obviously, we'll find that tonight. The semi-final is on tonight and we'll be doing that as well. But I think I watched the Germans the other day against Austria. They always seem to know how to get the job done. I would prefer to play against France, I would say. But both teams are absolutely brilliant. And thankfully, no one's been able to cause an upset yet. So Germany, I think it'll be an England-Germany final. Hopefully, they'll do a little bit better than I did in 2009 with our team when we lost <laughs> 6-2. I came on, we were 4-0 down at that time. So <laughs> it was always going to be difficult. But... Again, the fans, everybody's getting on board and the girls are in the final. And I think it's amazing that both our national teams are in back-to-back, you know, consecutive years, finals of the European Championships. And hopefully the girls can get the job done this time. The fitness levels look great. The movement was great. A lot of width as well. And maybe, just maybe, with that game the night before, Germany and France just gives them an extra 24 hours to recover. Yeah, and they had that. Sweden had two less days as well. So, But then at this tournament, I think it's been quite good because nobody can complain that they're really tired because there's quite a long gap in between the games, which I think is quite good. And Serena Wiegmann hasn't rested anybody. Even against Northern Ireland, when it was a foregone conclusion to a certain degree, that England were going to win. And I don't say that in a condescending way. It's just the reality. And she still kept the same 11. A lot of people were calling for Alex Greenwood to start. Rachel Daly started. Had a brilliant game, in my opinion. Really overcame that obstacle she had against Spain because she wasn't very good at all. So, fair play to Rachel Daly. Played well last night. And, again, I think Serena Wiegmann, I mean, I don't think she'll probably change anyone at the weekend. So, and in Serena, we trust because she's come in since September and done an unbelievable job. Leanne, what about uh, the Sunday's night, whether it be France or Germany? Will England have 99% of the crowd at Wembley or will it be a little bit less? 
No, I think everybody's going to be there. I mean, every time they seem to announce tickets, they sold out within five minutes. The online social media starts crashing because everybody wants tickets. My phone hasn't stopped going off this tournament. I think it's unbelievable that everybody's decided to support England during this tournament, but it's great. And I don't think the FA realised that even though Sheffield last night was a great stadium, they could have sold out Old Trafford again for the semi-final. And it was unfortunate because a lot of people missed out on tickets. But thankfully, I'll be there with Talk Sport on Sunday. And, you know, hopefully England can get the win, whether it's Germany or France, yet to be determined. But I think this team could be anyone in front of them. I genuinely do. Before, I didn't believe that before the Spain game. I thought, mm, well, that question marks are still there. But I think this team could be anyone in front of them. And you can feel it, Alan. There's yeah. a feeling within the team. It's not just them saying we're together. It's not just them saying all the cliche things that we used to get told when I played for England. You can genuinely feel it from the players. And I think Serena Wiegmann is so good because she communicates to the players. And all you can ask for in a manager is they tell you where you stand. Because I've been to tournaments before where, you know, the manager's not spoken to me. You don't know what's going on. Whereas all these players know exactly their roles and responsibilities. And I think that makes a difference. Brilliant, Leanne. Enjoy tonight. And then, of course, Sunday, you'll have an absolute ball. We look Thanks, forward guys. to it. Thank you very much. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.